Hi there, this is Coach Dave Wrightlow, and it's very early in the morning. Well, it was very early in the morning. I didn't want to actually do this at 5.30 a.m. because it's dark in my office space here. But um, the reason why I'm talking to you is because one of our clients this week was said, well, what do you, how do you get over this daylight saving thing? I'm still just trudging, I'm still trying to get through it. And um, my, my, my answer back to him was, Irrespective of the day of the week, stick with your rhythms and routines that have worked for you. We're huge proponents of morning routines. Um, and by morning routine, I'm a big fan of Hal Elrod's book, The Miracle Morning. And he's done a really great job talking about the importance of waking up with intention and setting your day with the right intention. Um, and maybe another way to look at that also is you can't wake up the, the morning with proper intention without setting the stage the night before. Uh, one of our podcast guests talked about the importance of really the, the morning actually starts the night before. I've got a little affirmation that I read before I go to bed every night. I'm going to wake up at this time, which will allow me to get, I'll do the math, four hours of sleep, five hours of sleep, eight hours of sleep, which is the optimal amount of time for me to make sure that I'm present, aware, and ready to prepare my life. So one of the things that I do on, on Mondays, most Mondays, um, and sometimes there's the things like vacations and things that happen, which is another thing we'll talk about. But this is, uh, this is what my morning looks like, and it's not much of a morning. Oh, it's a little flower for my daughter, <laughs> and she's sweet. Um, but this is what we what I do every Monday morning. And the thing is, with the coaching process we've gone through, we've got all these little things that we've done: creating an I know success one document, creating goals. Uh, we look at a dynamic time schedule. We look at our stats, and what can happen is you do this activity once. We want to make sure it's not an activity that's done, and then it's done for forever and ever and amen. But it's done, and we go back, and we use it as a measuring stick to keep going back and make sure that we're raising our tide. Uh, you cannot grow what you cannot measure. So in particular, with I know I'm successful in document. I, I, these are statements of success. Um, it, for, for instance, just looking up here, I know that I'm successful when I'm able to uh, always pay ourselves first. And what that looks like, and there's an action column here, make sure that we're paying ourselves, my wife and I, we're paying ourselves 10% of what our gross collections are. Uh, So we always pay ourselves first. That's one measure that I have of success. It's not necessarily a number, and there are other ones that are specific with numbers. Um, Just getting in a little bit lower at the, uh, the family. We have adult date nights once a month. Right? And our goal is by the end of the year moving towards every other week. Actually, that needs to get updated <laughs> because um, well, th- there's something happening towards the end of this year that's probably not going to be going into date nights as frequent. But we'll still have date nights. That's an important rhythm routine for my wife and I. Um, so this is what I do every Monday morning, making sure that my goals aren't, aren't slipping away, making sure that my success statements are congruent. And here's the thing that actually came out of it. Uh, the by process of doing this, even though sometimes it feels a little bit monotonous, is it keeps me inspired. And I read this quote once that said that when uh, boredom is when time meets an unprepared mind, or an opportunity meets an unprepared mind. So you look at people who are wildly successful. When I kept doing this and I kept looking at this, we had a little bit of money that we had something to do with, what we were going to do with it. Um, there was an opportunity that presented itself. And because we were so prepared, my wife and I, with documents like this, when this opportunity presented itself to create a new business, we were able to start a new business and didn't come at a huge stress in our life because we have these specific rhythms and routines to make sure that we are achieving success in our ideal, that we're making our goals, and that our stats in our personal business life and our savings are there to support those goals. So again, this is what my screen share looks like if you're just joining in. This is just one of the things that we do. This, and this is the I know I'm successful in document. I've got my 2017 business and personal goals. Um, then I've got my 2016 goals, old 2016 goals. I've got midterm and long-term vision, so getting into 2020. So I think you get the idea. I, I don't go through all these every Monday. What I do is I go through one sheet once a week because it can be just all-encompassing if you're looking through all of your goals every day of the week. So the other rhythm and routine I want to talk about that's really important, there's no right or wrong answer, but we strongly, strongly recommend that you have a vacation rhythm and routine. So in my office space, on the wall, there's a calendar. So 
but you don't have to have a a, a week a monthly or a quarterly or a, a yearly vacation goal, but have a vacation goal. My wife and I, our rhythm and routine is to get out of the country. It, we attempt quarterly. It, it usually breaks down to three times a year, so it's like almost quarterly. And then we have like two longer extended weekends on our American holidays. And th- that makes that's what it makes what makes it feel like a quarterly goal. So right now with this in my personal life, we're expanding into another business. I'd actually love to be here and working on the business the next week because we're actually going to Cabo for vacation next week. And my wife and I, I was like, I'm really thinking that I should stay here and work on the business. And she said, no, nope, this is a rhythm routine. And she knows full on that if I were to skip this vacation, I'd come back and I'd be burned out. And the reason why we go through these things is so you don't, first of all, with the I Know Successful document, the weekly review, I'm not comparing myself to anybody else. My idea of success is is, is my success, not anybody else's. My rhythms and my vacation isn't that expensive, but what's more expensive is to come back and be burned out from work or bored out at work. So, hit us up with a note. Love to hear you send us a, a little link in here with what your favorite rhythms and routines are, what your mornings look like, what your nights look like, how you get ready for the next morning, um, how you measure your goals, how you measure your success. If you don't have ways to do this yet, we've got specific tools that allow us to tap into those parts in your life because what we don't believe in is, is comparing yourself to anybody else, but only comparing yourself and your successes to what's congruent with why you do anything. And the reason why you do everything is always your value system, your core values. So this is Dr. Jay Wright with Full Circle Coaching Consulting. Thanks for joining us today and I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for tuning in.